Yo, what's up homies? My name is Devin and today I'm gonna be talking about weird things that I noticed after getting top surgery. If you're not tired of hearing me talk about top surgery yet, then bless you. I'm very happy about that because I have not run out of shit to talk about when it comes to top surgery. But before I get into that, if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, a meal plan, or a training plan, feel free to email me at devindoescoaching at gmail.com. And if you're new here and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and help my channel grow by hitting that subscribe button. It genuinely does help. So before I get into these weird things that I noticed about being post-op, I did want to share my current, you know, results. I'm around 10 months post-op right now. This is how things are looking. Body dysmorphia to be hidden, but anyways, that's how my chest is looking. I'll also pop over a picture somewhere over here of how my chest looks with a pump because it's probably going to be more flattering. I get itchy. Like, my chest gets itchy, and I do have sensation back, like, on my upper pec, but I don't have a whole lot of sensation back when it comes to, like, the nipple area around the incisions. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of feeling back, so around the incisions will get itchy sometimes, but because I don't have sensation back, I can scratch all I want, but I won't feel that feeling of satisfaction of scratching an itch because I don't have sensation. So that's something that's super weird and it's almost kind of frustrating, like you're scratching an itch and it's simply not scratching the itch. It's kind of a mind fuck. So as I slowly regain sensation, I guess nerve endings are connecting. I don't know exactly how it works, but I will get weird tingly feelings. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I was just rudely interrupted. We're gonna pretend that the angles have not changed, the lighting has not changed, and I appreciate it. I really started to notice that I was regaining sensation in my chest because literally three, four days after top surgery, my nipples started to have these weird electric shock feelings and I'm not trying to freak anyone out. They came and they went. It lasted like maybe six or seven days after top surgery. And I've spoken to other people that have had top surgery and they expressed that they felt the same thing. So if it does happen, don't be freaked out. Nothing is wrong. I'm here. I survived them, but it was weird as fuck and I did not expect it. And it just took me by surprise. Like, why do my nipples feel like they're being shocked? That's gotta be maybe the weirdest thing about top surgery and the weirdest sensation following top surgery. Now to keep it on the subject of nipples, a really weird thing that I didn't notice until I felt comfortable enough to take my hoodie off when training because even after, dude, even a couple of weeks after top surgery when I was back in the gym, I did not take my hoodies or my pullovers off in the gym like wearing a tank top because I was like, I just felt weird. Like I had spent so long hiding and feeling super self-conscious about my chest and when I did finally feel comfortable enough to take my hoodie off and wear only a tank top in the gym, I noticed that I was sweating everywhere Yo, else what the my fuck? nipples. Apparently when your nipples are removed from your body and put back on your body, the sweat Wet glands are like damaged or like they're no longer there. I did look up do nipples sweat and apparently nipples do have sweat glands so they do sweat for the average person. There are some cis people who obviously have not had any surgeries on their chest and their nipples don't sweat but for the most part nipple sweat. I don't think it outs me to any degree but I do feel kind of suspicious like I will literally be wearing like a gray tank top entirely drenched. It's dark gray everywhere else and then right on top of my nipples. It's the same color as the original shirt. So the next weirdest thing and the thing that hit me and Immediately after top surgery was this feeling of something is missing. Obviously 100%, 150% happy that I got top surgery. I feel way fucking better about my body as a whole. It wasn't a negative experience whatsoever. But considering I did carry around these little fat lumps on my chest for 23 years of my life. Holy shit. 23 years of my life. Getting them removed and then, you know, when I got my reveal, I was looking down at my chest and it felt like, holy shit, something is missing here. Like, I just kept looking down at my chest like... Like, what the fuck is this? It was just weird. And of course, you mentally prepared, but you're not like super prepared for it, right? Because you don't know how it's gonna feel. And I just kept expecting to look down and see what I had always had. And when it wasn't there, I was like, holy shit. And even right now, looking down to be a dramatic motherfucker for you guys, it's still kind of weird sometimes to look down and see nothing there. Not weird in a negative way. Literally in one day, boom, they're gone. And it's, it's a lot to, you know, take in. I had this little like natural slouch over, like not the greatest posture because I was always just trying to hide what I had and I still find myself sometimes slouching over to you know hide what doesn't exist anymore and even you know before I had top surgery I didn't have to hide I didn't have to slouch over and that's something that I really do you know I want to get across like even if you haven't had top surgery yet even if you're not 100% happy with you know your body at the moment never try to make yourself smaller slouching yourself over and making yourself small for the purpose of trying to hide your chest that also has a carryover and it has a negative mental 
effect as well. Your physical presentation really impacts how your brain subconsciously perceives yourself and the way you move in the world. So you're no less of a man or, or less of a masculine person if you haven't had top surgery yet. Everybody doesn't have the money. Everybody doesn't have the, the time or the support to get top surgery. So if we're blessed enough to have it, we definitely do have to be grateful for that opportunity, right? And I, I bitched and complained when I was in recovery, like, oh, I feel weak. I feel like a little bitch. But ultimately, I'm so happy and so grateful that the universe gave me the opportunity to afford top surgery because I paid out of pocket, that it gave me the support with my girlfriend to recover in top surgery. If you have anything that's weird that I didn't mention here that you felt after top surgery, definitely share that because I'm actually genuinely mad fucking interested. If you have top surgery coming up, good fucking luck. If you are interested in one-on-one coaching, maybe you want to get prepared for top surgery, be sure to email me. I'll also be including the link to my dumbbell only training plan as well as my high protein cookbook in the description down below. Follow me on Instagram. It's at DVNSPRS where you can see my bodybuilding updates, a little bit of thirst traps, which will also be linked down below. And like I always say, Devin loves you. Devin's a Don and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.